In this video, I will show you 9 tips to get the most out of Filmora 9 whether you are a beginner or even if you have used Filmora 9 for a while. If you are new to my channel, my name is James and I create video and tutorials to help you to leverage tech so that you can create greater impact in your life. Tip number 1 is to set playback or preview quality and this prevents lags from initial and it is especially useful if you are doing your initial cut right at the bottom here just under the preview window you can select whether you want a full half quarter or even one eighth lower resolutions will have pixelation during playback however when you export your video will be based on the full resolution of your original video the next tip is actually setting photo duration for slideshow videos this is especially useful if you want to uh, turn slides into videos. For example, if you set your project settings to 30 frames per second, what you want to do is to uh, make sure that uh, if you want 5 seconds, you multiply that 5 seconds by 30 and you get 150 frames and that will give you 5 seconds for each photo. So let me show you what happens. For example, if I drag this photo onto the timeline, let's put it here. You notice that it is exactly 5 seconds long and you can actually see it from this timer over here. Next, now back to the preferences, you may also want to set this as well to show the split button or show the split button on the timeline playhead. So what this means is that your playhead will have this button here. If you do not want this button, what you need to do is to go to your preferences and click on no and this button goes away. Now the purpose of the button is to help you to add a split videos much easier all you need to do is just to click this and then you will have a split over there and the good thing about this is that you can actually move this button up and down so that it doesn't block your wheel and once you have split it you can actually easily move your uh, clips around the next tip is actually on the performance if your computer have a graphics card you may want to enable gpu acceleration this will enable hardware acceleration for video rendering and playback as well as video decoding as well so this will actually help you render your video much faster. Now while you're here as well, you may want to also go to the folders here. And this is set where your folders are set, where your videos will be, recorded videos will be kept. And if you want to change any of the temporary uh, settings, you can set this here. The next tip is actually crop to fit photo and videos. Now you have this photo here, which is actually not the aspect ratio of 16 over 9 or not widescreen. So you have the black bars over here. All you need to do is right click and click on crop to fit and then Filmora 9 will actually automatically crop and fit it to the frame size. It works also for videos as well. All you have to do is do the same step and you will have a video that is cropped exactly. To ensure that you have a clear title here, what you can do is actually select the title and then add a color behind it. So let me hide this. So you hide this, this will be your normal title and this title is actually the default title that you can find. However, on some screens you want to make sure that your title stands out more what you can do is to add a color another track add a color and that color once you adjust the opacity you can have a title that stands out and still allows people to actually look through your title the next tip is the timer here now this timer here doesn't just show you where your playhead is located you can actually use the timer to set the duration for your titles for your transitions as well let's say you want your titles to be five seconds long and i'm going to type in 32 and you notice that the playhead will jump right to here so if you want to stretch out your uh, title all you have to do is put your leave your playhead there and then you can actually change the duration of your clip so it will be exactly five seconds long so this is how you make use of the timer a preview render now depending on the clip Filmora 9 suggests that you preview render your uh, video so that your playback will be smoother and that is actually a very good feature over here. However, what you need to know is that preview render actually generate files on your computer and over time it may actually uh, clock your computer out with a lot of files. What you want to do is go to file and delete preview render files and that way you actually clear all those unnecessary files from your computer. Bonus tip. Filmora 9 has keyboard shortcuts. This allows you to use functions like saving, cutting, splitting and many others without even using your mouse. In the links below, I've created a PDF you can download. You can print that out so that you can refer to it easily when, as you are editing with Filmora 9. Thus, you can even complete projects even faster.
If you want to get started with Filmora, check out my review and tutorial here as well that will show you some of the key things that you can use with Filmora 9. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If it has helped you, do consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell as well so that you will be notified whenever I release a new video.